Hello and welcome to your new quick tip by Janus Engineering. My name is Henry Flaum and today we are dealing with the brand new terminal operation from the latest NX release 2212. With the help of this roughing operation, we will be able to create terminal operations even easier in the future. To take a closer look at the function, we are at the St. Vekoromont Center here in Germany, Renningen. We will not only have a look at the functions in the NX but also directly on the machine. Let's take a look at Renningen then. And here we are. With me is Michael Herting from Sandvik Koromant, just like Thomas Fine from Siemens. Guys, introduce yourself a little bit. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, my name is Michael Herting. I joined Sandvik 20 years before and I'm responsible for terminal link technology. And yeah, let's go to the machine and look to the operations. Yeah, thanks for the invitation, Michael. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm uh, Thomas Feind, uh, responsible product owner for NXCAM for turning, simulation and mid-turning. And I'm happy to be here. Um, we have uh, a new operation type terminaling in our portfolio and I'm happy to try it out today on the machine with the experts here. Okay, so let's make some chips. And here we are with our part. And how we programmed this with Siemens NX, that's what we're about to take a look at now. So here we are within Siemens NX. So the first geometry that I would like to manufacture in here is the outer diameter of the part. How do I get that with the terminal operation? First of all, I will begin with the right click, insert operation. In the type, I'm selecting mill rotary. And here the very first one is the turn milling option that I'm about to select. When I pick it, I also will pay attention that the correct tool is selected, in my case, the scientific government um, insert head. And when I apply with OK in here, I will get into the uh, dialog of the operation. So actually, it's quite simple to um, get the operation done what I want to do. Uh, I simply will go into the geometry and limit the range actually from this flange of the part to the very first flange in here. That's the limitation for the range in the actual direction. I also will have to pick a tool contact shift for that. Those values were provided by Sandvik for me. First of all, the tool contact shift in my case is supposed to be 22.2 millimeters and also the step over is not supposed to be in percentage of the tool but better in millimeters and the value shall be 60.5 six, uh, pardon me, 40.65 millimeters. And when I regenerate the operation now, I will get this tool path in here. And when I pick the tool on the tool path, I also will see that the tool contact shift is taking place in here. So we are not milling with the center point of the tool, but more with a shift of the center point. So that's not the final solution that I would like to have. I also would like the operation to begin not on the left side of the part, but better on the right side. So therefore, I'm switching to strategy. And in the direction file, instead of positive, I'm changing it to negative. And when I regenerate the operation, I will get the result that I would like to see. And how this behavior looks on the real machine, that's something that you will see now. So the second geometry that I would like to turn mill in this part is going to be the eccentric geometry in here. How do we proceed in here? Just like before actually, right click, 
insert operation. Once more the turn milling operation, this time a slightly smaller tool in this case. Hit the OK button and there we go. The first thing is, of course, the axis of rotation has to be changed. For now it's set to ZM axis, but I want to specify it by picking this face for the vector and the center point of the center as the point for the axis itself. So there we go. That's the first setting. The second sec setting is going to be the actually limitation once more. The start object is going to be this flange and the end up distance will be this place in here. So what is going to be the um, tool contact shift for this tool? This time it's going to be 10.79 millimeters and the um, step over shall be once more a little bit more different than 50% in this case 22.48 millimeters and the death step can also be a little bit more than just one millimeters and now I will simply generate the operation. Here we go. Now we see that the tool path is going all around the eccentric geometry down here and when I place the tool in here I also see that the result looks quite smooth and good. So therefore, let's take a look at the real life machine. Last but not least, I will take a closer look at the final geometry that I would like to mill, or better said, turn mill. In this case, it's going to be this slot on the backside of the part. So once more, right click, insert operation. Once more, a different tool, also by Sandvik. And when I click OK now, I simply will take the knowledge that I have built up so far and define the start point in here and also the end distance or end object in there. The values for the contact shift shall be 15 millimeters, but the stop over, over distance of 50% can be set like this before. So generate it and we're finally good. So all of this part now has been turn milled without the need of having a lot of settings set within our dialog. And how this operation will behave on the wheel path, that's something that we can take a final look at. That was a new function from an XCAM release 20 to 12. As we have seen, it is now possible to create rough turn milling operations according to the specifications of the tool manufacturer, keyword center offset. Many thanks again to Michael Herting from Sandvik and Thomas Fine from Siemens for these exclusive insights. We look forward to your feedback. What do you think of the new turn milling? Which new feature would you like to learn more about in an upcoming tutorial? If you'd like to learn more about this and other new features in Linux Cam, Check out our interview with Thomas and Martin for more information, right here. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe our channel and leave us a like down below. See you next time. Bye.